Hello and welcome to another edition of the Goldman Guide. Hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl yesterday. In the spirit of the game and the camaraderie of the event, this edition of the Goldman Guide is shorter than usual. Instead of 10 minutes, it's a little over 8. That's okay, though, because we still have invaluable information here, especially today's featured stock. It's an unusual pick. It's related to news. It's in the defense arena. And we believe that it could have a little run to begin with this week if investors can put two and two together with respect to what the company does, where their strengths are, recent and potential news. Anyway, let's get to the market in the meantime. Now, forget about Groundhog Day. Today, we're declaring that the stock market is in its own version of winter. That's not going to be a portfolio killer, but it could last for a while. Since we reintroduced the guide, we've said ad nauseum we believe that this winter would occur after the current earnings season was complete. The premise has been that once the news cycle's over, the market would be broken, as it would be forced, investors would be forced, to focus on economic data and other news. And after a great week two weeks ago, in hindsight, that performance for the market may have been the near-term high watermark. After all, events of last week indicate and confirm that things are on shaky ground at best. Oil prices went up 9% after the big drop the week before, and the volatility index, the VIX, was up 12% for the week. Now, since they have an inverse relationship with equity performance, let's just say that's not a good sign. And technically, the RSIs for the key indices went from buys across the board to sells. The 50 and 100 day moving averages are also screaming sell, saved only by the favorable 200 day moving average. Meanwhile, the AAI Investor Sentiment Survey is showing a weak bearish stance. And that's a real negative barometer. Bearish percentage right now is only 25%, which is below the long-term average. And oftentimes, uh, that portends we could see some uh, downturns in the near term. And with respect to money flows, well, the spider ETF, SPY, which is the Bellwether S&P 500 ETF, had a big inflow two weeks ago, but a large outflow of $8 billion last week. And the singular top inflow ETF of a week ago, or actually two weeks ago, was greater than the top three inflows of last week on a combined basis. Yuck. So what do we do now? We would take some profits off the table, have some exposure to VXX, Victor X-Ray X-Ray, which is a direct way to play the VIX. We featured it a couple weeks ago, and it's an ETN, which is similar to an ETF. And you know what? You can consider it kind of like a coat for your equity winter. We still like the three stocks we featured thus far this year. Uh, we feel they have less downside than most stocks, so we wouldn't be aggressive sellers. But, you know, it's not a bad idea to uh, take some profits nonetheless. Now, market aside, we've got this featured stock for you today that, as we said, is probably more unusual than what you're going to see from us going forward. It's in the defense space, $3.5 billion market cap, and given the recent news uh, of the world, we think it has 33% upside from the recent close. You recall uh, how uh, the United States shot down a Chinese surveillance balloon, and then a few days later, there was a mysterious UFO shot down over Alaska? And a couple days ago, an unidentified object shot over Montana and Canada. And of course, it was a laser show over Hawaii. Well, these were all events of, of, of the past week. In my mind, when you see things like that occur, it makes sense to get exposure to a company that specializes in counteracting this. It's called space sensing. And it's the next generation of missile defense, defense against drone fleets, and UFOs. What's the firm? Leonardo DRS, ticker symbol DRS on NASDAQ. Now, they just completed a merger with the Publico in November, ironically and totally by chance, an aerospace and defense company I covered in the mid-90s called RADA. Leonardo, Leonardo itself uh, it, it is a division of, a, of another company. But in any event, uh, DRS is an innovative and agile provider of advanced defense technology, and they specialize in advanced sensing, network computing, force protection, electric power and propulsion, which are basically mission-critical technologies to defend against new and emerging threats. Now, let's look at the numbers before we go back to uh, the core business. Stock closed at 1351. It's about 20% off its uh, year high. 
has a book value of 1061, so it's not too much uh, higher than, than its book value, so that's a good sign. And based on Wall Street forecasts, uh, they'll do 2.7 billion in sales in 22, 2.8 in, in 23, EPS of 49 cents in 22, jumping to 72 cents in 23 after the merger, of course, is complete and they have cost savings and so forth. By the way, uh, at the 72 cent mark, based on current uh, share price, uh, the PE on 23 is 19.8, which is very healthy. Speaking of healthy, from the technical perspective, it's trading above its 50 and 200 day moving averages and has a solid RSI, which is a buy signal. You'll see in a moment the chart looks pretty nice as well. Now, the financials will be reported on February 15th, and it'll either do well or not, right? Uh, I expect there may be some oddities related to some extra expenses due to the transaction, but the focus should be on guidance for 23, potential guidance for 24, uh, and uh, these business lines uh, related to space sensing and other integrated sensing um, and, and missile defense. So space sensing, what exactly are, are we talking about here? We're talking about monitoring and shooting down things that are in low Earth orbit. It could be satellites, they could be hypersonic missiles, of course uh, they could be and perhaps have been uh, these unidentified objects, whatever in the world, whatever the world they, they have been. Um, but the, this market is expected to reach two billion dollars in the next five years and we're speaking of space sensing and this whole, uh, anything related to uh, defense in space, right? Uh, so this is a huge market, and these are great players, one of the leaders uh, in this technology. Short-range air defense, integrated sensing, and space sensing. As I said before, it's a nice chart. We think the stock can reach the $18 mark by year end, uh, and that would give it a 12-month forward PE of uh, 25 based on current price, uh, based on the $18 price. Um, so that certainly would be reasonable at the end of the year, uh, since it would be uh, trailing 12 months rather than forward. So uh, that's a great price, um, and we think it's very achievable. Uh, quite frankly, if, if, if we can see some action, price action in the stock just. To, uh, this week, if people can put two and two together about uh, uh, the space sensing and these events and potential events. Now remember, this is not a recommendation to buy a DRS nor VXX, which we mentioned earlier. All the securities mentioned, featured, and discussed are for informational purposes only, as always. Now that will do it uh, for this week. Uh, thank you very much uh, for listening, and we hope that you have a great week.